What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just Jay Sama. I'm here. I'm back with the uh, most, what is it, consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast on the web. It's me and my boys again. Uh, I got Deacon with me. He's being a VTuber today. Uh, yep. If you're watching the uh, video version, uh, DJ San, who's decided to not have his titties out on cam. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yes, you, King. And then, uh, of course, we got my man Plank Han in the back, you know, yeah. holding, holding the beats down. You're, you know what it is. So, um, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? How was, uh, great. How was the weekend? I feel, like I, I, want, I feel like I want to fuck the devil. Uh, oh. Huh? What do you what? mean by that? Uh, what do you think I mean by that? <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, yeah, yo. Before before we jump into the little Nas stuff and uh, everything else this week, um, if you guys are watching the video version, make sure to give this a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, also subscribe to all of my homies. Uh, all of their information will be down in the description below, so you can go ahead and check them out, say hello. Um, also. Uh, if you guys are listening to the audio version of this podcast, if you're on Apple, make sure to rate it five stars. That would greatly help the squad, so that way we can finally get up out of our mom's basement. And let's uh, go. If you're, yes, go, let's go. Here. It is. Uh. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> also, if you're listening to the audio version on Spotify, if you could go ahead and click the subscribe button, why not? You you know hit the follow button. You can get notified every time a new podcast episode comes up. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this week's Q&A. Uh, I know this is DJ's favorite part of the podcast. So, um, yes, sir. We got quite a few things this week. Um, I'm going to skip all the questions about Lil Nas. There were quite a few of those. It's really only like three or four. Um, one person asked, what, do you, what is your thoughts and opinions on Homegirl on Twitch that was queefing on live? Um, oh, I saw man, that. Man, that's some of the crazy oh, stuff. No. <laughs> I see what oh. I mean. Bro, it took a deep breath. Did you see the video? She said it, it, it breathed. Yeah, yeah it, it breathed. I was like, she breathed, man. She was mad proud of it. Like she was mm -hmm. she looked like a kid on Christmas when she was finished. Bro, the the coochie went. <laughs> she, she said, Did you hear it take a deep breath? I'm like, oh my hear god. That? I, bro, I swear, I swear, I saw the lips flutter when I heard the sound. I swear to God. Um, I'm, I, I uh, I didn't know that um, women queefing on command was allowed on Twitch. I didn't know it was wanted. I, yeah, I didn't I know didn't, that was a thing. Yeah, no. At all. I, I feel like that is some type of TOS violation. It definitely has to be. It that's is. a human rights <laughs> violation. It feels. Is she, is she still there? No. She she still, she no, banned. she did. Oh, okay. oh yeah, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Man, if you think you're going to stay on the platform after doing something like that. Oh, I, no. just thought, I just thought they were going to let her slide. Like, they let no, some girl bro, beat no. up a dog. Who and like she is? Amaranth? I, I don't know who that is. So, I mean. The maybe. white girl that threw the cat. Oh, no, that's, that's not her. That's a lady. That's a lady. Oh, that's a lady. Sorry, there's a lot of crazy white girl. girls on Twitch. Is, uh, the redheaded girl. Jesus. Uh, oh, is she the one that got like fucked by her dogs or something? That is the wrong. No, that's that is, that that is also a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, you, yeah, you got your white women mixed up, man. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. You know they'll cancel you out here for talking about white women. So, uh, well, um, me. no, but, I, I just I thought it was very interesting because. Uh, Specifically, because the way Twitch has operated before has been very inconsistent, so I really thought she was gonna get away with it. I thought she was. I thought they were just gonna let her slide. No, just, not that. Yeah, nah. not that. Mm -hmm. Um, for the most part, uh, she, she, you know, she entertained me. I I watched that video two, three, four times. Shit. Uh, nah, <laughs> I was done. I was. The first time, I was I just. Do. I was perplexed, and as I was watching, I said, "I need some. I need to see a." a game theory video on this i need to see a breakdown how much air <laughs> she <laughs> suck in oh she really took a whole human breath like that was like, a play gulp by of play. air bro. yeah it was you going for a while champion? like uh yeah where they do like a you know the game the uh sports they break center breakdown they freeze it and they be like okay now the thought process was here and they break it all down mm. she she did a literal play-by-play -play of the inhale and exhale <laughs> I don't. Of the KEW. <laughs> um, hey man, hey, 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 hey. Just, I'm surprised this white woman got away with it, bro. That's that's just weird. Oh, and then no, we, they, she didn't get away with it. They no, she up. banned. Uh, she'll she'll be back. It's fine. They shot she, her own sex. I uh, this actually made me really think about something, man. Because if if this chick did not get banned, uh, I would have just. I would prefer Twitch to just have a not safe for work section. I don't know about yeah. you guys, but I I think Twitch should have it. I think Instagram should have it. 
uh, because there's too much uh, like inconsistent rules about like how yeah. they apply certain stuff, and it's just like you wouldn't have to if you just like implemented like okay, this is a 21 and over section verified by like you know sending a picture of your ID, kind of like how only yeah, does or whatever. The fucking like, um. When you when I buy vape shit because you have to be older than twenty one in California, they make you verify with your ID or your driver's license. Mm-hmm. It's the same shit. Yeah, and uh, I, I think it would really save a lot of people a lot of time. Although Twitch being like the main platform for streaming in general, I could see uh, why like you know a lot of cam girls you know kind of jump on there and then they'll either do just chatting or they'll do cooking and stuff. Because honestly, like the way Twitch is now. And just seeing all of these women women entertaining these men by having cleavage or, you know, doing all sorts of weird shit, that's fine. But you wouldn't have so much weird shit if you would just allow the not safe for work stuff. Like, you just yeah. wouldn't. Plus, I, I, I truly believe, like, as a revenue, because, you know, you got to talk money to some of these people. Yeah. As far as revenue, you would probably bring in a lot more money, too, by having a not safe for work section. Shit, make it a uh, make it a mandatory payment for the not safe for work section. Sure, fuck it. I don't care. Like, if I really wanted to see not safe for work shit on Twitch or on live stream in general, like, you would go and find that content. Like, there's plenty of other websites, but... Even Twitch... if it went as far as making another platform mm-hmm. and then having that an option on Twitch, like, oh, hey, you verified you're older than 18... There's this other site you can go to, you know? Dark, Twitch After Dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me let me sign up T- for Twitch After Dark. I don't think Dark. that would get rid of the weird, though, that's currently on No, it, it wouldn't. But it would give them a reason to reprimand them on the main site. It's like, you have your out- options. Yeah, you yeah. We gave, we gave you a choice. You wanted to show your cleavage in your kitchen while eating, you know, fucking Jack in a Box, do, calling it a mukbang. Bitch, why don't you just hop on Twitter, uh, on, on Twitch after dark and do a gangbang? Like, it is what it is. Like, it's not... So what? Yeah, I said what I said. So, I mean, she probably makes some more money anyway. I just... True. But the, the brand? That's why you make a different entity. You don't... Like... They have the infrastructure to do it, and it would be successful. Not guaranteed. only that, not only that, it's it's Twitch. That's like saying Disney couldn't turn around and just like make fucking what Falcon and the Winter Soldier being the most violent piece of content that they've created. Exactly. Like, come on, it's just the whole like brand concept doesn't make any sense, especially when they are the space. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like anybody's gonna come along and dethrone Twitch. Like, it's not yeah. happening. Like, YouTube Live is is struggling with that. And the only reason why YouTube is in the place that it's in is because YouTube has uh, predominantly been a VOD place. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, trying to dominate that live space would just be... It's like, oh, okay, advertisers are just going to take their ads over to YouTube. YouTube's got its own fuck-ups. Because last time I checked, people were pulling ads from YouTube because of fucking white supremacy and all these other type of fucking videos yep. and ads being yeah. placed on it. So, where are you going to go? Like, where are you going to, like, because streaming services, uh, like Hulu and who else does, who else runs ads on theirs? Like, I think, like, ESPN. Um, yeah. Nobody really does, like, ads anymore. Like, Hulu used to. You, Hulu Crunchy used to roll. have a crunchy roll. Yeah. So you could place your ads there. Like, if Coca-Cola didn't want to place their ads on Twitch, it's like, okay, and? Like, where are you going? Yeah, where are you, where are you going to go? Like, there's no you other know platform for you to go to. how many monthly users we have, bro. You can't, you're not going to compete. Exactly. You're going to take that shit over to YouTube? Weren't you just Ooh. questioning that shit like two years ago? Bruh, come on now. Make sure try to even, like, you know, well, Microsoft tried to uh, move their way into the streamer space by introducing Mixer, and we all know how that went. Yeah, it was, exactly. It wasn't a bad competitive. Like, when you look at the features that Mixer had, that's what brought low latency nice to site. Twitch. Yeah, yeah that's it was what. was a nice site. But it's just. You're trying to. It's like trying to make the Grand Canyon now. It's like, bro, you, they've had like a twenty thousand year head start. You're not gonna do anything. Then you got Facebook Gaming. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I I looked into Facebook Gaming, and it's so difficult to navigate Facebook Gaming. It yeah. it really is. Like just going onto Facebook in general, and they got this big ass G logo at the top. I'm like, bro, 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 stop. What the fuck are y'all doing? Like. This shit makes no sense. Don't pander all. to us. They don't have like a category set up. They don't really have like, oh, if you're looking for a specific type of stream or anything like that, a specific type of game. Like it just, it's really fucking convoluted and it's all over the fucking place. It's fucking weird. Uh, and it's like a weird combination of Instagram Live meets fucking Twitch and meets Mixer. Like it's just, it's it's a mess. It's a fucking mess. So they're not really doing yeah. much anytime. Plus, Facebook is a whole different like demographic it's a whole different space so if i'm coca-cola and i want to take my ads to fucking facebook 
you now have to negotiate with Facebook. Like that, yeah. it's it's Facebook. It's like you're already running your ads on it. Like, what it's more could you possibly situation. do? Plus, there's a huge like separation between Twitch and Twitch After Dark. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you still use the same profile information. You still use the same analytics. You still use the same login and everything like that. Just just fucking make it just a button. Age gate it. Age gate yeah. it. Make it a button. Make it a verifiable like. Like, you scan the back of your fucking ID type beat. Like, you're not... Yeah. There's no way you're getting getting past this wall without having, like, a, some form of legitimate ID. Like, even if it's somebody else's, that still verifies that, like, okay, at least the user on this account is over a certain age. Fucking porn sites do it all the time. Exactly. If you're over 18, click here. Like, <laughs> that is their verification. You know what I mean? Like... Amazon, let's put it this way. You already sell fake dicks. I want to see people use them on your website. Bro. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Oh, my God. Yo, the affiliate links. That's, <laughs> yo, the affiliate links, bro. I'm just, listen, I, I think it's a good move for Amazon to decide to do t uh, Twitch After Dark. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, I other than, like, what is that one shitty website? Like, Plexstorm or something? I or don't Shatter even know. You don't really or have, like, a big only energy fans? entity. OnlyFans oh. Live, bro. First oh. of all, OnlyFans is a busted ass site in itself. They, yeah. every time I go on there, it just randomly signs me out, and it's all of a sudden it's like, oh, but we need your two factor. Yeah. What? I I never enabled that. Hold on. I, I don't, huh? And then it, it's oh. just it's just such a shitty built site. It's there was a horrible. good couple months where like three out of the five times I'd go to OnlyFans, it was down for maintenance, and I'm like, bro, yeah, I can't no. even use your website if I wanted mm. to. Not right. only that, they have these weird business practices on how uh, creators get their money on OnlyFans. It's super weird now because of Bella Thorne and fucking Cardi yeah. B and all these other bitch bitches doing dumb, dumb shit. Like, ah, nah, man. Uh-uh. Just make a Twitch after dark. That's It's easy. I can use the same bits on Twitch that I can on, bits a uh, on Twitch after dark. Ooh, bits after dark. Bits after dark, baby. You know what time mm -hmm. it is. Um, you can make like little animated titty bits or something. Oh my god! Bruh. See that that <laughs> it, it, this stuff sells itself. Like I, I genuinely believe sometimes, like when these companies come up with ideas and they start new stuff, I genuinely believe that they don't do like not even two minutes of fucking due diligence to like see nope. if this is a good idea or if it does work or anything or like you know, it, it literally anything like some some shit like this whole fucking Sony PlayStation thing, like oh, that shit is just bro. Did they? It's almost like they didn't run that by anybody. Like, uh -huh. like this wasn't going to be a bad look for them. They were like, uh, yeah, we could just shut everything down. We just gave people PS5s, like, last week. Like, <laughs> five people. Come on, five people got PS5s last week. Why the fuck do we care about people wanting to buy PS3 stuff? So that's Mr. Sony walked in that yeah. morning. All right, yeah. shut it down. Shut Beat it down. PS3 are done but, today. But, Mr. Sony, you said two more months. No. Well, now it's two no. days, bitch. Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> like, Come on. I got shit I need to do. And what didn't make any sense was, like, they were selling games, which mm -hmm. was so interesting. Like, more people were buying games digitally on the PlayStation 3 store in the last, like, week than have in the entire, in the last Yeah, because like, year the, or or uh, like the, the artificial inflation is like, well, now you know this isn't going to be available in so long. Buy it up while you can. And they're like, ah, oh, nah, fuck you. We're doing it sooner. I'm like, yeah. what the, you would want the time, the extra time. It's almost like these sales. people don't like money. I don't understand. I, 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 I genuinely don't get it. Like, if you're selling a product that people want to buy, and you're like, okay, but, like, it's mine. Like, you can't buy it. Like, like you guys are really, like, trying to flip-flop, like, like, Nintendo here? Like, it's just mm -hmm. not, it's not going to work for you. Like, it's just really not. Because I already not can't a get a, look, yeah, I, I already can't get a PS5 in their PlayStation Now service sucks. So I understand Terrible. they're trying to push that, but oh, God. Mm, it's it's fucking disgusting. It's a crime against humanity, yeah. honestly. It's a violation against the Geneva Convention. They need I to be put to death, bro. They I wouldn't can't. be as mad as if they like did the Microsoft thing where all their first parties were on PC as well. Because at least then you have an avenue to still play them, even if they, even if they have to have to rebuy them. But they want to be petty and build a shitty service and then shut down the store for those consoles. It's like, wait, you got, like, one option if the game's in there. And it also hasn't even been clarified if you can even still use the stuff that you've already purchased. So if you purchased something in 2009, you know, mm -hmm. and now you're just like, oh, shit, well... The PlayStation Store is shut down. Let me just download this game that I've already purchased. You won't have access to it. You won't have access to it. it you have to have it downloaded before it goes offline. Yeah, and it's like, what What the fuck does any of this, like... And so now there's no P access to PSP games. There's no access to Vita games. And it's not like that stuff is readily available physically. 
during a pandemic to too, bruh. Yeah, I, I think like, that they they need to do away with that that PS Now thing that yeah. they introduced for like uh people who want, that want to play like PS3, PS2 games or whatever. You can stream it to your console. They need to get rid of that and bring in something else that will let people play like backwards compatible physical backwards compatibility, bro. Like yeah, it's not yeah. hard. Even, Microsoft not even that, got like, it. But yeah, but not even that, like, because not everybody has, like, the original disc. So yeah. they can have, like, you're able to access your PS3 library on your PS4 and PS5 and play those no. games. No, that's more. That's just more sales to have them rebuy it. Which, which is so interesting because it doesn't make any sense because you're buying digital goods. Like, before, yeah. backwards compatibility used to be a thing where it's like, okay, in the PS3, well, we had to fit the PS2 hardware inside the PS3, so we can't. it's I, not feasible, yeah. we can't do it. Then the PS3 to PS4, they were like, well, PS4 can't we really do it. do it. Yeah, we just can't really. It's not feasible. We can't do it. Make Okay, I get it. It's a hardware issue. How yeah, does that make a price. make any sense for digital co- like products? How does that make sense? Like I'm I'm using yeah. this digitally. I'm using a gra- a graphical interface. I'm using this specific so- piece of software, and it's running. It's able to run on this device that you have created. That is a first party device for a first party mm-hmm. piece of software. How is it that it's not literally like a switch? How? So the thing the thing they fucked up was from the PS the PS3 was hell to develop for. They switched it for the PS4 to make it easier for developers, but at the cost of not having the backwards compatibility because it's all different code. Now, a uh, developer can go back and update it if they want, but why the fuck would you do that? PS5, I don't know what the reason was for, because I'm pretty sure it's like the same code. It's, honestly, it's one of the only things I praise Microsoft for is their backwards compatibility, because they started the Universal Windows program a long time ago. So what you get on a 360 will run on a fucking Windows phone if it's strong enough. Oh my god. Yeah, eventually yeah. you'll probably have a Windows phone where you can play Gears. Yo, that's gonna be... That's a huge marketing point. Imagine Microsoft yeah. selling a phone where it's like, you can play Gears, the trilogy well, on here, and it's like, yo, see, I gotta the, buy that phone! I gotta buy that phone! The, that's the thing with the uh, they have the game streaming with Game Pass. I play games on my phone all the time. Oh I just connect my Bluetooth controller to it and I'm good. That shit is wild. Sony could never. I, I feel like that requires too much thinking on Sony's part. Yeah, that that requires care and yeah. like thought for your community. And it's it, what doesn't make any sense is they they are making money off of this yeah. product. Like they're oh, making absolutely. money from this. So now I can't even rightfully like try and figure out like the logic behind it. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like, hold up, if you're making money off of this stuff that you no longer touch, nobody maintains this, nothing. Like, it's literally just a couple of servers just running, and people are able to download and purchase and access this shit, which is bringing you money during a pandemic. Uh-huh. I I don't I don't understand. Cause, bro, I think I, they may want to double dip. Like, because uh, I think absolutely. You know, all these yeah. HD collections are coming out for... Like, Devil May Cry had an HD collection, Metal Gear, God of War. Like, when people come out with those types of games, with these HD remasters, they can then sell them in stores and online for the upgraded consoles at near full price. Yeah. So, you buying even, HD collections for, like, $40, $50. Yeah, even if it's full not full price. $60, $70. Yeah, if, like, even yeah, if it's not yeah. full price, they're still making money off it. Because all they had to do was update it. And since but PS4 to 5 could be easy. Money they want to make more money with the HD collections, though, in my opinion. Oh, so yeah. All but, I know is I mm. was forced to shop at GameStop, and I just... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, yep. thanks. No, oh, thank you. I told you about that, that board game shop, Jay. I got another mom-and-pop game store around here, too. They got a lot of old shit. I bet. I'm, a, I'm, I'm on the way. As soon as I get the keys yeah. to the car. As soon as the car yeah, come you, back. Yeah. As soon uh, as the car got some gas. What was I going to say? I was going to say something about Sony again. Fuck. They suck. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah, so, um, that's oh yeah, that's why. Shout, shout out to like game archivers who like take all these old games and they physically back them up for people. Yeah, and then just give them open source and put them on the internet. Exactly. And then people send you, them cease you, and desist letters. To them. It's like you're what you you close the store. We can't get these. So yeah, what's the problem? I that's one thing I've never really understood about like maybe Nintendo's just not proud of their stuff that they made. Maybe maybe Sony's just not proud anymore. They're like, hey, Nintendo's maybe. got a real thing about this like eShop stuff and you know, I don't I don't know. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to get the same list. So 
uh, luckily for my PS3, over the past week, I was able to like go in into the PSN store and like check my purchases, right, and see the titles mm-hmm. and all the stuff that I purchased. I can't even see that now. So yep. now they've Damn. they've disabled it to where it only says two ninety nine purchase, twenty nine ninety nine purchase, like purchase purchase. It doesn't tell me what the title is. I no longer have access to my DLC, which has been a real fucking issue. Um, all of my like extra other stuff is just gone so now i don't even have like a list of the things that i want to buy physically so luckily i was able to buy uh, all the ratchet and clank games i was able to buy all of the sly cooper games um i think i bought i bought all of the god of war games again uh even though they have like multiple collections i bought the Mm -hmm. origin pack and stuff like that i think i bought uh six jrpgs for my psp i bought all the disgaea games again um and i think i bought it hasn't come yet, but I bought a Legend of Dragoon set, and it has, like, all four discs in there, so I think that, that should be coming tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I hate... I, I don't have the space for this shit. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't want to collect it. Like, digital really seemed like the way to go, especially, like, going from PS4... Like, PS3, PS4, Vita, into PlayStation 5, like... I was, I was, they converted me. Like, I, I could have yeah. swore I was never going to buy digital ever, 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 ever. But, but this then, was just the side effect that we didn't see coming. And so now I just, I, now when something comes out, I, I have to buy two copies of it. I feel like I it, have to, I, I feel like I have to buy a collector's version of it and I have to yeah. buy the actual game so I can play it and take it out of the box. Be, being 100% real, I honestly didn't see Sony doing this. I saw Microsoft doing this first with the 360. But... Bruh, from the people that said, yeah, we're going to flip the DRM switch for this new Xbox. Yeah, okay. Are you fucking, exactly. what? <laughs> I, They're like, nah, keep it. You're good. We'll get rid of the DRM. We'll work on like, xbox original back backwards compatibility like they 100 percent from when they first announced the the one they've done a big 360 yeah they've l- quite literally no joke, no, joke, <laughs> no, no, joke. no pun intended bro <laughs> hey um, we take those. i i'm i'm not, oh my god i'm not gonna lie man uh even though i haven't been able to get one i haven't been able to access one i don't even think they're real because i've never seen a store with one like I, not even on the display. mom and pop shop bro the i mom am and not pop getting shop can get you one i'm i'm not getting a ps5 I, yeah. I refuse. They've got, what, three games that are available uh, for PS5 yeah. exclusive? Like, three fucking yeah. games? It feels like 2014 all over again, where, like, all of these <laughs> games that are coming out are on PS3 and PS4 at the same time. All of these games yeah. that are out are on PS4 and PS5, and they have, like, three games that aren't available on Well, they on have, PS4. like, the, the big library, though, right? Like, from PlayStation Plus, where you can play, like, a I still have my PS4. Yeah, but, they're, but they're all on PS4 is the thing. Oh. For now. So, well, hey, <laughs> I, don't have, I, I don't think I bought a lot of those games that are in that collection. They have to either. do that, though, because there's nothing to play. That's true. Yeah, imagine That's if true. the PS5 came out with, and it, it was only PS5 exclusive games, and you only yeah, had three games. Yeah, it feels like games. God of War, a, a, and another like PS, Spider-Man. PS3 when they first dropped. They only had, Ratchet. like, three games. For the That's, yeah, they That's, had... it. That's every console gener- generation, though, because, like, they only give the developers, like, a year or two in, in, in advance notice. I, like, how do you I do remember the Xbox 360. Hardware? The Xbox 360 did have, like, a bunch of games available. A like, lineup, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they had, like... Like, they had their developers working three years in advance for that shit. And then drop the console had... a year early. <laughs> yeah, because well, cause the, the Xbox at the end of it, the original Xbox at the end of its life cycle, it didn't have shit coming out. Because yeah. all the in-house developers were working on the 360. Yeah, that's, that, that shit was fucking crazy. It's like, yeah. PlayStation's dropping something, we're dropping in a year we're early. Two. We, we, we're dropping a 360 on their ass. Like, it was... Mm, I, I, while, we're, while we're in this space, can I talk about how, like, the proprietary hardware in these consoles... It's just trash. Like, they switched out normal hard drives for, like, soldered-on integrated SSDs that are made in-house. So if you have any, like, hardware failure, you have to send the whole thing in. What is that shit? Um, that is, uh, should have been a PC player. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if you want is. speeds, bro, you're not, you're not buying a console. When, now that I think about it, it's, it's a fucking scam. It's definitely yeah. a fucking scam because if something goes wrong with your PlayStation 5, not only do you have to send it back and it takes two to five months to come back to you, and they're really just going to send you a whole new one anyway, they they have no reason to put the highest quality parts in there. No reason no. at all. Because if you, have, if you have something where the hardware lifespan is a little bit longer than your warranty, then you have to purchase a new one. Exactly. And they always do that shit. And it just doesn't... I never saw gaming going in this direction because i'm pretty sure there's still ps2s that run perfectly fine 
Like I can get one out my yeah. shelf right now. It'll blow right up. Man, and it's just you know it's good to go. But every time my fucking PlayStation Four sneezes, it's like I have to reset everything. I, I don't. You gotta rebuild the whole database. <laughs> I have you to. Honestly I have to rebuild the whole Jay, fucking database. I need to take you twenty minutes. You couldn't partition a section of this hard drive out <laughs> for dedicated database. I just. Oh my god, bro! And it takes twenty minutes for the PlayStation Four to boot back up. And you guys know, every time I've ever had like. You know, we've been gaming in the middle of the night and my power goes out. I'm terrified my PS4 is affected. That's it. It's done. And you know what's interesting? My PS3 is plugged into the same fucking TV. When I turn my PS3 on, it's like, oh, what's good, nigga? Oh, Hold up. What's good? oh shit. You trying to play some video games? Oh. I've been waiting on you. <laughs> I'm gone. Oh, man. Yo, dust off that controller, bro. Wait, listen, six hours of controller time. <laughs> you good, B. My PlayStation 4. You know, my PS4 uh, controller can't hold a charge uh, to end a fucking oh, fuck. stream on. Ah, uh, you have a controller? Oh, fuck. Like, it, like this thing has a fucking migraine starting up. Like, I just... It could be fully charged. <laughs> I'll turn it on. Three bars. <laughs> I fucking hate the PlayStation 4. This thing yeah. sucks fucking dick, bro. And I have the Pro. Like, I have, like... Oh, you the, got the, fucking better than yeah, me. Yeah, I have the, the latest manufactured, like, Pro. Like, I bought it last year. Thank you to all my subscribers, by the way. Um, hey... Yeah, they're the only reason why I got this motherfucker. Specifically, Lee Boy and uh, Anime Done. Like, the, those motherfuckers, they made sure I got this fucking PS4 Pro. Um, <laughs> they were like, yo, we're tired of not seeing PlayStation content. Only for me to PS get the PS4 Pro, and there's no nothing to fucking play. Like PS5 announced? Let's get you that PS4 Pro. Oh, my God. Yo, Lee Boy really said, he said, he said, yo, we got to get you that PS5. You have to have it. I said, no, yeah. I don't. Like, no, I don't. I'm good, bro. I got a PC. Yeah, I'm like, like that with the PS5 now, bro. It's like, I've been trying to get one for so long, and I'm just at the point where it's just. It's like, what up? When they're in stock, they're in stock. Yeah, I'm cool, man. I'm just. I'm not breaking my neck to try to get one. Honestly, I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy another PS3 before I buy a, P a PlayStation yeah. 5. I won't buy a PS5 until I can walk into a store and say, can I get a PS5? I'm like, yeah, cool. We got like eight in the which, back. Which one do you want? Which yeah, version? Oh, give me, you know what? I want the one second from the bottom. Move them all. Give me that one. You want the slim or you want the thicky? I want, I want coochie-less. Okay, so do you want 500 gigs? you want a terabyte or you want a uh, five terabyte? I'm trying, let, let's just put it this way. I'm trying to start a revolution. Oh, okay. For sure. For sure. So we're going to do the five terabyte. Did you, uh, do you have a Power Up Rewards membership, by the way? Because oh, that's the only way you're going to fucking get one. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I didn't know where that bit was going, but I'm glad I turned it around. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so uh, I forgot what we were talking about, but yeah, fuck fuck, yeah. fuck PlayStation right now. Um, honestly, I really thought those guys were going to do well. Um, let's see. We got another uh, thing. We're still in the Q&A portion, by the way. Um, sure are. Yeah. Oh, so we actually do have an update. To our storyline of homie who was, you oh, know, get ready to hit on his is. girl. So Here he actually, uh, he posted twice. He said, so the homie's girl is talking to me, but I don't want to make a move. Is that, is it wrong that I do want to make a move? And then his follow-up is, the homie's girl most likely doesn't like me like that, but I can't even socialize with her, with her because my pee, pee is always hard. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just confused. <laughs> Should I, should I be, should I, go ahead, DJ, I, go ahead, go ahead. She don't that. like you. <laughs> oh. so what you trying whoa, 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 for? Bro. Whoa, 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 DJ. You, he said it. He <laughs> said it. He, he said, the homie girl ain't even feeling me like that, but I cannot talk to her because whenever I talk to her, I'm thinking about blowing her back out. That's what he said. That, yeah, that just just sounds like his imagination running wild. Okay, a man not under under control, uh, have his desires under control. No, DJ, I want to let you know I hate you. <laughs> Why? Oh, that's because because, he because, he because it was actually it, because it was we're secretly plank yeah, doing we're this. Secretly <laughs> planked the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You can't go into that being like that. You, you mm. listen. Is it plank? Oh, that's no, crazy. It's not me. I don't. I don't think it's. Him. I get no bitches. I am Anyways. ugly as hell, sir. Bitchless plan. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Sans no beach, cares. as they say in France. <laughs> Sans bitch. Hey, bro, look. You said she don't like you, and I mean, obviously, you say the homies, girl, they still together. They ain't broke up off of whatever problems they had last week. Yeah, yeah. So they still together. She not feeling you, and that's his girl. So you need to go ahead and just leave that alone. Yeah. She don't like you, bro. Just she belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> no, she that's everybody, girl. 
<laughs> she, she belonged to him. Okay, all right, you gonna get this man smacked up? Go ahead, Plank. Nah, Go ahead. She was, she was in the streets when Montero came mean, out. <laughs> yeah, that brother starving. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You know what, sir? Go ahead and listen to Plank. Ball her back out and then go ahead yeah. and have and then give us, up. sir. They give come us back the next week with the results. Yeah, hey, um, uh, record the fight. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna need to see that. I think um, this is tough, man. This is tough because uh, as as a homie who has liked a homie's girl and who has hit on a homie's girl before, not knowing that that was the homie's girl, and then even after finding out that that was the homie's girl, you still proceeded to shoot your shot. Um, I have been that disrespectful before. Ooh, um, <laughs> I, down um, bad is down bad for Down bad is down bad, okay? Just because, yo, that's your girl? You want to keep her? Okay, just, just wanted to ask. Just wanted to make sure. You like her this week? <laughs> She talking back? Oh, okay. Don't tell me none of your business. I'll use it against you. I'll be like, hey, man, I've done it before. I probably wouldn't do it now just because, like, I don't really care. Like, I don't really I don't really chase coochie. Like, y'all heard me multiple times while I'm streaming or, like, even just chilling in the Discord. Like, I get a phone call and just be like, I don't feel like answering it. Like, I don't care who's on the other end. Like, unless it's somebody who's going to bang on my door, then I care. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, we get into trouble territory. It's real <laughs> Oh my god, yo, I'm throwing my voice out. Call me by your name is is really hidden. Oh man. Um <laughs> So uh I think at this point You just gotta take the L, bro. You just gotta yeah. take the L, you gotta just leave it alone. Exactly. That's it, man. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. Rub one out real quick and then reevaluate the situation. Exactly. You'll I'm gonna, feel better. I'm gonna give you two solutions. I'm gonna tell you the uh -oh. nasty nigga solution, and then I'm gonna tell uh -oh. you uh just J Sama's per you know personal that's professional. Girl. Yeah, that's everybody's girl. I'm gonna tell you uh just J Sama's professional personal opinion. Uh, just save all her photos, bro. Save all her, oh, save all no. her Instagram photos, man, and make just remember, yeah, bank. just make a spank bank real quick, and then use that to thrive and be a better human being. I, I think every day that you look at her pictures and you realize your sadness while you beating your meat to your homie's girl, um, oh That's you just a hell use, of a sentence. I, hey man, you just gotta use that energy positively, man. You gotta use that to be your best self because you never know. One day your homie come crying, man. Me, me, I, me, and uh. Me and homegirl broke up, man, and uh, you know, I just you just sitting there saying, "Oh, word," rubbing your hands together like bird, man. Stop. You've been plotting, bro. You've been you've been financially plotting. You know what I mean? Like you've been ready for this for a minute. I've been training for this day. Exactly. You gotta train to beat Goku, my boy, and that's it. And right now, you see Krillin with Android 18. You said, "I bet I could take his bitch." That's it. That's all you got to do. That's it. That's all you got to do. If I really try. Nah, if, this if whole time, you, you really been training to beat Goku. Time. The least you could do is that's, beat Krillin. That's, that's it. That's true. The that least true. you could do is beat Krillin. I don't know if that makes any sense to some of y'all, but made sense to me when I said no, it. No, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to <laughs> it me. It made sense. Yeah. You so. could be a complete savage, right? Yes, sir. And, be, and you, could, you could do what's called getting in her, in her ear. Mm -hmm. Now, you gonna come you in her, her ear? ear? No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on, hold on now. Wait a minute. We we not on that time. I'm not spitting no water up this podcast, bro. Not you hear me coming? Don't worry. No, you you wild, Bruh. but but what you can do is be like you don't step to her unless you know that you can do better than what he's doing right now. If you can't do better than him, yeah. just go ahead and leave it alone. But if you mm. want to be a savage, go ahead and step and be like, look, I can treat you better than he can. So, or man, just mind your business. Let time you know, work it out. Know. Let time work it out, man. That's you only know. that's only if you want to be a savage. And I'm not, not only that, that, not only that, you still got the rest of your life. By the way. Uh, you could you could go on throughout your life. There are women who cheat. Okay, women cheat all the time. Black men don't cheat, like the, but like there the are men, women but... all the time who cheat every single day. Who got husbands? Who got boyfriends? Who got significant others? And you never know. This may not be your situation, where because <laughs> this is your homie and this is your homie's girl. But I mean, you know, you never know. They could get married one day, mm. and you know, you just be like, yo. So I've been. You tell his wife, listen, I've been fiending for you for years. She's either going to think you strange and you know, y'all can't be cool no more. But you got to just be willing to roll that dice, playboy. So, because you playing in dangerous territory. So, 
Whatever you decide, just keep us updated. No, yeah. ain't no whatever you decide. Leave that alone. I Leave think that alone, this sir. is this is just right, Sama personally. Speaking. Okay. Deacon says you should fuck her, but you Deacon know what? says you Your should life. fuck her. Oh my God. I'm Christ. saying, I'm saying, DJ's just such a pussy. just get That's you a spank bank, bro. Girl. Just get you a spank bank and just leave. Bro, if she looking somewhere else, you're not giving her what she needs. Around me. But if who looking somewhere else? She she not looking. The boy already said she ain't interested. He he said so he what? thinks she ain't looking. She could be looking. <laughs> what? You know what, Touche? She I'm a, could be. I'm gonna tell you right now. If she looking, she not looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. She not looking for you, bro. She ain't looking for you. I'm just that is. I'm just saying. Otherwise, she would have shot her shot. Exactly. Mm. She would have said, one. She would have said me and Steven not doing so well anyway. Oh, that'd be you're like my brother. Yeah, no, no, no. Step brother. <laughs> Step brother. What you doing in that laundry, girl? All right. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I see you stuck under the sink, step sis. Hey. Oh man. Yo, that's DJ, funny. did you say touche or couche? No, I said touche. Uh, same same thing. Same thing. Same, yeah, yeah. same thing. So you know. Hey bro, leave that leave that alone, man. Hey leave man, just alone, get, just get you a spank bank, bro. That's yeah. it. You just gotta secretly crush on your homies girl for the Find rest one of her time, socks man. or something. Yeah, hey, honestly. Yo, yo, I, I, I think that's a little weird. <laughs> or honestly, listen, if you wanna be real, real <laughs> savage about it, bro, just be real with your homie. Tell your homie. Talk yeah. to your homie about yeah, this. Talk Actually, to your homie. That might be that might be the solution because no. you never know. He no. might Oh no no no, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Talk to your homie about it. Be real, man to man. Mm -hmm. Say hey, mm -hmm. Deacon, you know what? Your girl is fine. Okay. Yeah. Aries, your girl is fine. Let me let me buy her zip file, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> sir! <laughs> you know, no, what? but you I'm saying, be onto something. But people I'm, I'm, I'm just, out there. yeah, yeah. You never know because some people, you might, some people want an extra dollar, or yeah. maybe your homie is just like, listen, I understand. You might be a cook. That's why I picked her. That's why I picked her. Honestly, that's why your homie picked her because she's fine. <laughs> so just ask him for the zip file, man, or let him know. Like, listen, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now. We've been boys for a while, you know. Uh. Deacon, but I'm gonna let you know. In the event of your untimely death, I will fuck mm -hmm. your wife. That's it. That's it. Me and Deacon, me and Deacon having that conversation because we homies. You take her for the day, you can have her now. Honestly, listen, bro, I got you. I'm gonna take her out to uh, yeah. Cheesecake Factory real quick, get her some Buffalo yeah. Blast, toss those in her. Yeah, you know, take get her a couple man, mo get mojitos. Some time ah. off real quick. That's it, man. You know, you stay at the crib, play a little Xbox. You know, I'll text you when we on the way back to the crib. You know, got you. it'll probably be Do after midnight. Off. Yeah. Right under the table. She gonna pretend like it's a secret. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, but bitch, I, know. I had permission from your man the whole I, time. What you mean? I pimped you out. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? He let you, Bruh. he loaned you out like it was fucking Ratchet and Clank. All right. And we met up, up after your school. arsenal. And just up your arsenal, baby girl. That was it. Okay. All some devious <laughs> raccoonist type B. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no. Uh, any, anyway, yeah, you just you just gonna have to talk to your homie about it. That's what I believe. Um, those are those are the two options you got from from me from me. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, let us know how that goes next week. Um, I'll be looking forward to it. Be sure yeah, you got DJ, the DJ really is enjoying the storyline, man. I really am enjoying. <laughs> he the really is. Uh, let's. I may see. sit down and write a script. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my That's God. a hell of an anime you're making uh, over there, sir. I uh, believe it. Okay, so uh, we got another one that asks, uh, let's see, are people too scared, scared, hold on, are people too scared to voice their opinion? It's probably something about people being scared to voice their opinions. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start this one. Um, I made a YouTube channel, um, so <laughs> I can't really, I don't think I can relate too much. Like, I used to care. I used to care all the time. I used to care about other people's opinions. I used to care about uh, the things people would say or the things people would think. But mm -hmm. honestly, that's not my job. I don't get paid to care what you think about. Like I don't. I don't get paid to, you know. I don't get paid. I don't get paid. True. Yeah. Like I just <clears throat> we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like the money just not flowing like that for me to care about your opinion. So, you know. And even if it was, it's kind of just like I'm my own person. Like if if I'm not a coward. So, you know, if I'm feeling some type of way or if I want to state my opinion or something like that, I mean, obviously within like the realms of like, are there physical or uh, economical repercussions? Because then, you know, you just got to fan for yourself at that point. Um, yeah. So, you know, you got to figure it out and make the 
the best choice possible. But I mean, I don't know, man. Some people just scary. Some people just scary. I don't know. So I feel I think like as long as you are being the best version of yourself and you like yourself. You ain't gotta apologize for anything that you do, nor be scared of any opinion you throw out there, because that's you keeping it a hundred. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you, you want to be an authentic, wow. that's you saying whatever you want to say, that whatever you fully believe. As long as you ain't out here just faking it for just to save face or whatever, people just gonna have to take you as you are, and they gonna respect yeah. it because a lot of people out here don't be acting how they really are behind Amen. closed doors. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if you, as long as you doing that, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta worry about nothing, man. You said you go ahead, and do you? Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, getting over the the hump of like caring about what other people think of you or what they think of you, it's it's hard for some people. I got over it in college. I just stopped giving a shit because I realized we all doing nothing in life. What the fuck? So you is like DJ said, as long as you're not hurting nobody or spreading like hateful information and all that, mm-hmm. go ahead and do you. You can be wrong in situations. Don't get me wrong. You can say what you want, but you can objectively be wrong. So you just but then you know. that made that that's even better because it opens up conversation to something that you may not have been informed about. Yeah, so if you're open minded. Time, you, that, yeah, that's true. If you're open minded, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, you you always you always it's always room to learn. Like, don't nobody know everything. Everything, yeah. So I just want to remind y'all that Plank said COVID is a hoax. Um. Huh? Are we standing by? Yeah, we're not gonna let that side. No, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not standing by no, 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 no. New Jersey is a wasteland. I'm convinced that these people do not understand what a fucking mask is, man. I went outside today. I went outside just a couple hours ago. These motherfuckers are not wearing masks. Wait, masks. Masks. They're not wearing the masks. Okay. I we are know. in fallout territory. I okay? guess this is the wasteland. I really wish it was a flesh-eating virus. Yeah. Uh, to what Elias said in chat, you hear dumb opinions. Um, not everybody knows the information that you know, my guy. Um, mm. what what is an is an opinion really dumb though? Yes. Because like uh, I mean, yes, yes, yes. yes. objectively I mean, it can what, be. It can be. It's what somebody thinks. So I mean, one piece hey, uh, is bad. Hey, one uh, piece is bad. That's a fact. One piece is bad. That's a fact. Down down bad coochie. In my opinion, I don't gotta wear a mask when I go outside. Uh, huh? Okay. Yeah, I get it. All right. Yeah. 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 You know what? I think I honestly I think you should just everybody should just keep their ideas to themselves. <laughs> everybody should just shut the fuck up forever. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think anybody should ever it. talk about anything ever again. I don't pick up your mask is when you go outside. Honestly, just mask wear your mask is. outside. Uh, you I, know, like, that's I it. like telling people they don't. If they say something stupid, I like I am the one to say, sir, you need your brain checked. Uh, yeah, we know. DJ, that happens to you a lot. I was gonna yeah, say, right. you're right. So that's why I do it to other people. You pay it forward. Do <laughs> on to <laughs> others. <laughs> exactly. If I know what it's like to be stupid, I should be the one to tell you. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. I, I, I was stupid too once. Let me inform you. Exactly. Um, I mean, you know what, young blood? I made the same mistakes as you. Let me, not let, people think. <laughs> let me talk blood. to you. Let me talk to you, young man. Um, exactly. I, hey, young brother, where you going? I don't. I don't know, man. Honestly, if you if you feel like grinding your dick on the devil is something that you want to do, man, go on and do it. But I don't, hey. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is a this is tough. I mean, it, going back to originally what he said right. was about people being scary. Um, yeah, man. If you scared, just you know, shut the fuck up. If you scared, go to church. Yeah. This is clearly not a line of uh, you know. I mean, you can't be a YouTuber and be quiet like that. Don't mm. that don't I make mean, any sense. To play devil's advocate. Uh, let's assume that he wasn't talking about being a YouTuber or a content creator. I mean, just like it. I assume, yeah. I assume we gonna go back to the previous thing. If you too scared to tell your homie or tell your homie's girl that you're trying to smash, shut the fuck up. True. Shut True. the fuck up. You ain't supposed this, to be in that space. This question from the same person? Hold on. <laughs> Maybe. Hold on. Let me look. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I had to look. I had to look. Their icons are similar, but it's not. Oh. Yeah, no, it's just some some anime avatar. Yeah. So yeah. either stop caring about other people other people's opinion of you, or you know, whip live your, your life out. in fear. Yeah, just whip your dick out real quick. What you doing? Because you, you will live way better. I'm telling you. After you stop caring about what people. Oh yeah. Not not it's, for sure. in certain for sure. situations you need to care what people think of you. Like don't get rid of that job, empathy. Yeah. 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 If you go for a job application or not an application but an interview. You you gonna want to care what those people think of you because they hiring you. So there are different hopefully. situations where you need to think. Yeah, hopefully. 
mm-hmm. where you need to think about what people care about you or what people think about you. But or at least how you perceive how how they perceive you. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, you know, what, in a general sense, like, it's just if you just if I'm sitting next to Billy Sue, Billy Joe Bob or whatever, whoever I'm sitting next to. Right. A weird I, don't, I don't really care what they think. Like, I'm not going to see him again. I mean, exactly. Mm-hmm. 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 If okay. I want to go out here and my knees ashy, I'm going to do that. I'll, if I want to look ashy today, I'm going to do it. Sir, that's a safety I hope you have somebody in your life that won't let you look ashy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no. I, I do. So you can't I do mean, that. That's a safety sir, hazard. You, you out here causing forest fires. Like so yeah, you out here causing forest fires. We're going to have to ask you to go back inside. Sir, yeah, your, your knees are sparking up, sir. <laughs> sir, did you crawl through baby powder to get here? <laughs> Look like if I lay both, if I rub both my legs together, the whole car gonna caught start on fire. Oh my god, this is god anyway. Damn. So the point but is, that's if my you business. if you brave, you brave. If you scared, just shut the fuck up. That's it. That's there all I gotta go. say, yeah. man. I I can't really, I can't really say nothing. I'm trying to be a YouTuber for a living. That shit is already kind of hard to talk to people about, like, <laughs> just coming. Nah, I was having this conversation with a homegirl the other. I say my homegirl. I was talking to Alex the other day. You already know. I was talking. <laughs> to, I was talking to OG, and uh, you know, I was letting her know. I said, you know, this whole job shit is like cool for people who want a job, but like, I'm just trying to create content. Job. Yeah, I don't want a job. Like, I've never. What was that little girl that said? I think it was a, a video I saw on TikTok, and some little girl. <clears throat> Uh, was, of course, you know, a little, little melanin girl, a little black girl. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she was in her kindergarten class. And uh, the teacher said, uh, what do you want to be when you grow? You know, what, what's your dream job? And she said, I don't dream of having a job. And I said, ooh, sis. Oh, oh, oh my the God. The innocence of young, children. Young she queen. Of her time. Young queen. You go off. And that yes. really, I felt that in my spirit. I really did. It uh it sat with me and made me feel some type of way. I said I really just be working jobs for money. That's also That's just it. the innocence of children. Too. Just for money? Oh man, my time is more precious. You can't buy more I mean, time. That's what everybody wants to do, though. They want to like get somewhere where they want to do something that they dream about doing. They dream. Yeah, about they want to have a career. Yeah, and enjoy what they're doing. That's, man, that's must I feel nice like don't nobody want to work a job that they hate. That's the end goal, honestly, for anybody. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, now, I, what I really don't fuck with is people uh, suddenly having the courage to speak up on some shit that you wanna you wanna do for the rest of your life. I think it's very interesting when people try to give you. That's another thing I want to add. Uh, stop letting people give their opinion if they don't do the three Fs. Gentlemen, take notes. The three Fs. Because I got the three Cs, cash, culture, and what's the other one, Deacon? Coochie. There it is. Uh, no, actually, it's... it's <laughs> why, do I, why do I have to look cash this up? Cash, culture, and creativity. Cash, that's culture, spelled, and clout. That, okay. Coochie is spelled with a K, sir. Coochie is not spelled with a K. I promise you it's not. I promise <laughs> to God it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so DJ, I must, you have, a, up, I must have the wrong version of the dictionary. Let anyway, anyway, so if it's not one of the three F's, if they're not feeding you, they're not fucking you, or not financing you, okay, their mm. opinion should absolutely not matter. Once again, for the for the people in the back, feeding you, fucking you, and financing you. Those are the three. Uh quite my hands raised, you can't tell. Yes, Question. Sir. Can we change fucking the fornicating for uh, uh advertiser friendliness? Um, no, no, because the advertisers know what they get into when they get in here. That's it. I can't. I, I can't even. I can't even like flip a switch for our advertiser. Be like, oh well, if you guys could curse le- like, if you guys could curse less on the podcast, we'd advertise with you. You know, we give you tons of money or whatever. It's like, okay, well, where where do we draw the line there? Because now we have to have a conversation about we can't say fuck no more. Fuck is part of my vocabulary, bro. There's no way. True. Well, you can't say racial slurs. What you mean by racial slurs? You mean nigga? You mean the word that I was I was born being called like Into? somebody called yeah. me a, a word that I just you know an entire lineage of people are you kidding me I don't ask hello to be called this. can you ask history can you ask history do you erase the word nigga please no okay well that's gonna be tough then that's gonna be real tough because that's just part of my vocabulary um, sure. you're right you, know, you're right. you want me to stop talking about white people crazy unless I'll slow down. I'll slow down. Hey, shout out to last week's episode where they uh, <laughs> used the toilet bowl to uh, wash the yeah. hair. Yeah, when you, when you, when I stop, when I start seeing stuff that, when when stuff on my timeline stops showing up about crazy white, crazy white people doing crazy white people things, then yes, I will, I will refrain. 
But she you, really put her head in that tone. That shit was God, traumatizing, man. God I really, it, I really have listened to that podcast multiple times, and I don't believe that we had that conversation. <laughs> like, I don't. <laughs> I, it just didn't seem real to me. You know what I mean? Like, I've listened to that our podcast as many times as I listened to "Call Me, Call Me by Your Name." Honestly, that's crazy. Yeah, oh, it, at least several hundred times. So yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, go uh, watch last week's podcast. Yeah, yeah, definitely do that. Which you should have listened anyway. Like if if this is your first episode, you you lacking, you lacking. Why me. would you start in the middle of the series? I, I don't, fuck? I don't even know. Okay, so we're gonna take us into our last one. Uh, we already an hour in. God damn, yo, hell we, yeah, we talk too damn much. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this person says social media is whack lately. Someone is always being canceled. Um, I'm gonna leave the floor open for that one because I I got a bit. I got a bit about that. Uh, was that the I whole question? Was that, that it? Was that was it. Yeah, they didn't ask a question. No. Was, There's no question, question in there. I, Fuck I, I have a question. No, no. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Are people being canceled or are we excommunicating the people we don't we don't Want think deserve anymore. a platform? Yeah. I think it's both. That's a good because question. Because there are some there are some scenarios where people just get canceled for like, yo, really? Like did like this is what this is the type of response that that garnished from what they did, yeah. but there are also the the individuals like Sinatra, if anybody know who that is. Oh, Frank. Yeah, we're gonna you have no, 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 no. Oh, That's Frank the only Sinatra I know. <laughs> no, no, no. There, okay, so there, there's Valorant an Overwatch player. player. There's a, I, there, he was an Overwatch player at the time, mm-hmm. and he was uh, sexually abusing his girlfriend. So they they. Oh. Yeah. So uh, allegedly. Allegedly, so castrate that man. You don't, you don't just castrate don't, that, that man. So in in that Crash, case, castrate should, him, throw him in the ditch. They should, they should lose their platform exactly in that case. But there are also cases where like people would do like the most minute thing and people would scream and cancel. Them. And then in those cases, mm. I'm kind of looking like, but why? Like grind on the so devil's dick and, and shoot baby juice in his yeah, mouth for what? Yeah, like a little Nas shouldn't be canceled. No oh, hell no. no. I don't think he you can cancel Lil Nas. I don't think you can cancel Lil Nas. Not, not, not for this. I don't think they. I don't think it could be for this. I don't Have think a, I, the 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 out the outrage that is happening on Twitter with him is it's not that deep in my opinion. It's a, it's a music video. Really not. And yeah. you, you knew and the, some shoes. You knew the man was gay too. Like, come on, man. Like aggressively gay. On, like me and, Deacon, eyes, me and Deacon you? were having this conversation, and this is why. Like I go. Like people really were asking me. Like, yo, this is really sus. Like you posting this little nods and blah 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 blah. I'm just like I was confused because I was like, huh. I, I, people are looking at me sus because I support somebody who's unapologetically themselves. Whether they yeah. be gay or not, like I enjoy Lil Nas because he's himself. Like I, mm-hmm. I even talked about this on Twitter. I was like, the one thing I will get from Lil that I've gotten from this exchange with Lil Nas this week is that you have to be unapolog- unapologetically yourself because mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's when you're the best you, honestly. Because mm-hmm. I I really just ride ride for this dude. Quite literally, pun intended. Yes, okay. I'm just saying. Okay. I, anyway, the the point I'm trying to make is I think Lil Nas would be a, somebody dope to hang out with. He seems real. He seems down to earth. He oh, seems yeah. very like like himself. You know what I mean? Like I agree. He seems I very agree. honest. I I don't think it, it's not like he's like some of these people out here who are kind of faking the funk and tr- uh, trying to like depict themselves to be a certain way. Like Lil Nas does not give a fuck. Like, and that's why I think you can't cancel somebody who does not give a fuck. Like you just can't. He I really can't. Is. I don't understand yeah. why people will try to be something that they're not in order to say impress people, because as sooner Money. or later they're gonna find out that that's not you. Yeah, but the question is how much. In that situation. Question is how much money can you make before they find out that's not who you are? Even that's if it's true. a million, not, bro. Not just that, but like, are there now new opportunities to you because you became more authentic? Because yeah. you decided to be unapologetically yourself. Now, now your your advertisers didn't change. We'll use Lil Nas as an example. Like uh, Nike is saying that you know, oh, we didn't have anything to do with this shoe or whatever. Like you know, we're gonna sue Lil Nas and like the company that that worked with him on this shoe or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's you know, it's a cease and desist. You know, he put Nike, yeah. he put the Nike check, he put the Nike whoosh on a on a shoe it doesn't belong on. Okay, you know, I gotta take that off. We I, I understand. That. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, I understand. That's a legal matter, but. If he lost advertisers because he decided to make some, because you know he'll probably come out with the Heaven Elevens next week. 
We never exactly. know. Like it's the it's Lil Nas. MH. He just does he just does shit to do shit. Like you know what I mean? Like he's himself all the time. So I expect him to do. You know, like when he tweeted about about like, oh, I'm gonna have Kurt Franklin on the next verse. I genuinely believe he gonna have a version with Kurt Franklin on, on it. Like oh, I just, yeah. I don't think like, you know, I, I don't think he's not I, he's not doing stuff out of you know maliciousness or anything like that. It's so fight or anything. Yeah, it's probably gonna open way more opportunities for him because he was able to make the best out of what seemed to be a bad situation. Honestly, I think I've I've listened to. Call Me By Your Name more times than I listen to Old Town Road. And Old Town oh, Road, yeah. last year, was my, like, number one listen to song. Old Town Road and Panini. Those were... And Rodeo. <laughs> and... No, 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 that's it. Those are the top three. Those yeah, are the top three songs for, for I think... T- yeah, all of 2020. Those were my top three songs. Like, at all. And then would it was, you, like, Harris Heller and some other stuff. If some if somebody loses advertisers or sponsorships... In like his situation, would you say that they are, quote unquote, like suppressing that person's creativity at that point too? Because now um, you gotta put yourself in the box where it's like, okay, in this scenario, I this far, yeah, it, it kind of it it would seem like that. That would seem like that's the message. But if I were like Lil Nas, I would give a fuck because I'm Lil yeah, Nas yeah. X. You've I, already you you dug yourself out of the hole that you started. Yeah, in. I I, I have what, sold out shows all the time. In two days, yeah, bro, that shit breaking records, man. Crazy. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm Lil Nas X. I, ma- I make money by sneezing. You know what I mean? Like, he's not really worried about, like, some advertisers that don't want to work with him. Say he doesn't get, like, I can't host the Grammys, all this other stuff. Lil Nas is, understands that, like, the rest of the world exists. Like, there's yeah. there's the end of time. Like, we're not going to let this moment, like, bother me because three or four companies don't want to work with me and, like, some fucking, you know, Christians are fucking mad at me on the internet. Yeah. Like, I don't give a yeah. fuck. Like, who, who yeah. fucking cares? So, I think he he understands like this is just a moment, and he doesn't really care because you know it's artistic expression. He's doing whatever the fuck he wants to. Like, you know, it's the same thing with people trying to cancel Eminem. Like that shit doesn't make oh. any fucking sense, bro. Like y'all must be new. Marshall Mathers oh, been long, a, he did like a decade. Oh ago, my too. god, Easy. man! And it's not even his worst song. Like and it's no, really it's not. not. Staying is way worse than than some of the others. Is even worse oh too. my god, bro! This no. This I I don't know. I, I don't know. So you'll have situations mm. like that, but then also to address your point about like the advertisers and stuff, you have the flip side. We have motherfuckers like David Dobrik getting canceled because he allowed a rape to happen and then filmed it. Like it was yeah. just, you know what I mean? Like people like that, yeah. no longer you no longer need a platform. I think that was right. that's a big enough. It's not like he said the n word. Like if David Dobrik said the n word or whatever, which I believe David Dobrik says nigga all the time, like for sure. Like he be yeah. in the car just riding around, nigga this, nigga that, you know what I mean? Like, and it's oh sorry, he doesn't he doesn't drive because he has a Tesla. He would be like nigga this, nigga that, you know what I mean? Like, um. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I mean, if he were being canceled for that, I think more people would come to his defense. Like it's just a word and blah blah blah. I I really feel like we would have a whole different situation on our hands. But yeah. That's also but it because seems like Dave- everyone's on the same page because of what happened. With yeah, him. but that's also because David Dobrik is white. Mm. And and straight, true. I'm just saying, like some he's, people are now using. This, yeah, he's not a gay black guy. Some people are using this opportunity to bash a gay black man for being a gay black man, and which I, <laughs> I will I will support little nods till the end of the day. Now, if he decided to shoot up Absolutely. an orphanage or something like that, then then that's you know, we'd yeah. Have to, We're not saying that he's yeah. No. You know, he's he's a god or something. He, he can do bad, but this is not on him. Yeah, this definitely. Yeah. And I don't think grinding on the devil's dick is really that bad, mm. honestly. You know, I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want to? Yeah, that's the ultimate honestly. display of and power. Then, and then when you think about it, and you listen to the song, the song is about being down bad. That's exactly, it. it's about being horny, bro. That's it. That's all the song is about. So he really could have made any type of video, but he said, "You know what? I'm gonna make some wild shit." You oh know? yeah. What is what? What is something I can make? You know, that middle, even like, middle America mom. Middle America is gonna be mad if you don't wear a mask. You're probably mad at this song. If you don't wear a mask, you're probably mad at this song, okay? The same people that were mad at Eminem back in the day are the same people mad at Lil Nas X now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, put your mask on and If it up. was a music video with, like, a sex scene with him and a, and a girl, it would not have the same reaction. I don't even Absolutely think the song would be popping. I don't even think, unless you listen to Lil Nas's music like that, I don't even think the song would be popping. Exactly. I, gen- I genuinely don't. Like, Lil Nas can put out bangers, yeah, for sure. 
but like with a paired with a dope ass video like this. Oh my god, bro! I'm I'm playing it just out of spite. That motherfucker no, is playing on my too. Alexa right now during the podcast. Okay, so. <laughs> Call me when you need. Call me in the morning. I'll oh, be on the oh, way. oh my god! So yeah, I don't think, I don't know. When it comes to cancel culture, I think sometimes we do go a little bit far because we don't oh, have yeah. uh, any redemption culture. We don't have any any like set of people that will acknowledge your previous deeds based on the growth that you've made and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, some white guy was saying the n word on Twitter, you know, 15 years ago or whatever. But you know, now he's donating to Black Lives Matter and doing all this other stuff. But but we need to cancel him for his previous tweets. And it's like, bruh, like. He's it's growth as a person, you know. People can grow and change. Yeah. When do we account for that? Having tweets from like ten years ago, nine years like the, ago. Oh, like, he tweeted this the day Twitter came out. I'm Can't surprised those happen. tweets don't auto delete because I can't even. I was scrolling down my own feed and I couldn't get to the like. I used the advanced search of like. Yeah. I, I think my account. I was. I made it in 2010. I went back to like some of my first tweets from when I was in college and I was just saying cringy shit. Like people were oh, actually God. like listening to me. You know what I mean? I mean, people don't listen to me now, but like still. Yeah. Um, cuz of the cringe shit. Yeah, cuz of fucking cringe. You see how I started my fucking Twitter career, right? Yeah, fucking yeah. cringy 10 years later. So uh, I don't I don't know, man. I, I I specifically was looking for uh maggot with a f. Uh, yep. I was trying to see if I would ever use that and uh, I found two tweets. Ooh. I found two tweets, um, and they weren't directed towards anybody. It was just talking about the word in general. So thank God, mm. I've always been an ally. Yeah. So oh, it's man. cool. It's cool. Ooh. That's what's up, my fellow gay niggas. I mean, fellow. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, this, is every, uh, this is podcast sponsored. Anyway, anyway, all jokes aside. Okay, hear me out. I don't think. I don't think this is something Lil Nas is going to be damaged by in any way, shape, or form. Nike no. may not have a shoe with him this year. Give it like four or five years, and, and come he back. drops. Yeah, he drops more bangers. Like we still got the rest of Lil Nas's career. Yeah. Imagine Lil Nas. He's not. A, he's proven that he's obviously not a one hit wonder. Like, oh yeah. So he's gonna be around for a minute. He gets the best producers. He makes the best hooks. Like he's just he's just dope in the space that he's in. Music videos or works of oh, art. Oh my god! I can't wait till we get more gay rappers. I want oh, more gay right? rappers, bro. Like. There's two things I'm excited from from this whole situation. Like when you watch the genius breakdown with him, I'm excited for other um, gay and all uh, rappers to come out and act, you know he was trying to normalize the whole man on man thing in music because he had a point when a, when a guy or a girl talks about fucking somebody of the opposite sex for them we don't think about it we don't it's like not even a blink or anything it's normal to us mm -hmm. fucking do that shit and also with the whole sponsorship i'm excited to see if like smaller brands work with him because that's when he gets more create creative control over the the fucking crossovers you know yes sir i want to yes, see sir. him do some wild shit i yeah i would absolutely support Lil Nas's career man i want to i want an earring with like a drop of blood in a vial from him that'd be pretty fire I don't even want to know yeah. whose blood it is. Yeah, just I don't even want to know. Well, for what? Why would I want to know? It comes with a, a uh, man on the side it comes of the with a fucking uh, signature of authenticity, and it's just some random person. Like, hey, do you want to be part? Do you want to be part of a clothing brand? And people be like, yeah. All you got to do is just give us a little bit of blood. That's all good. Comes with a polar. How much? Like a person. like a pint, or how much you need? You need a gallon? Oh yeah. I think I can. I, yeah, I think I can make a gallon work. Yeah, just. Right before I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. This is going to be good for about seven shoes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> huh? What? So, yeah, man. I don't Why even, am I dizzy? I don't, yeah, I don't even understand this whole shit. Like, I never do. Because I, I, I try to put myself in, the, in a point of view, like, of these yeah. people that are offended. And it just logically, my brain doesn't work, like, in that space. Mm -hmm. Why would I not wear a mask? Why am I trying to cancel somebody that's just being unauthentically themselves? Not only that, yeah. he tweeted out earlier today. He's like, I thought you guys like people who aren't PC. Which, <laughs> holy shit, he's right. Like, he is right. I don't understand. Like, it, it's just so much going on. And, like, I, I, I get people have their weird perspectives that they want to have. But, like, bro, like, this is not. It's just people who can't, like, oh, it doesn't fit with my morals. So I can't enjoy this. Like. Bro. Not only are you not only are you gay, but you're black too, and you're and racist. successful. Oh my god, I knew those gay oh, black people worship god. Satan. Oh no, it's the trifecta like, of evil. Yeah, no, I'll just he's the Antichrist. Like, 
Bruh, come no, on. No, I fucked like, the Antichrist. What do you mean? I watched a 35-minute video from one of, like, the spiritual guides that I, I follow on YouTube, and he had a whole fucking, like... The, first of all, the 35 minutes was the cut-down version. There was a two-and-a-half-hour oh live stream he did of breaking down Lil Nas X's video about all the symbolism and stuff like that. Yet we go watch a genius video, and he's just like, nah, none of that has anything to do yeah, with anything. This is what this means. Yeah, bro, I was I down just, bad. Bro, I, I was down drink. bad. I was horny. And then so I said, you, you know what? Let me make something shocking. Like, it's... Just take my man's words. Like, just listen exactly. to what the fuck he's saying, bro. Like, I'm I'm really just trying to grind on you and shoot my child, my children in your chest. Like, exactly. come on, bro. Come on. It, it ain't that serious. So. Volunteer is tribute, by the way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I will not. Sir, I will not. I absolutely oh, okay. will not. But uh, I, I will say once again, this this makes me feel like there's going to be more people musically that come out to be more authentically themselves. Like, I'm tired mm. of having to, like, only have Cardi B, Saweetie, and fucking I'll never sing Nicki Minaj's verses just because she don't got anything I like. I mean, yeah. she cool, but, like, I don't. She don't have what about that boom, like. boom, 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 boom? That super bass? Yeah, that shit hit. That shit hit. But, I mean, I can only quote Cardi B, you know, ride that dick like a pogo stick so many times. You know what I mean? Like, yep. and it's just me trying to be funny. It's just me trying to, you know, it's just, that's it. Like, yeah. it's not that deep. So, now that I have more little Nas lyrics, like, before it was it was different. When I had, uh, I'm a bottom on the low, but there's some top shit. Like yeah. that's that's a bar. That's that is a high bar. That is a high bar. That's over that some people's head. Bar. But now it's just like you know, shoot a child in your mouth while I ride on. Bruh, come on, come. Literally, come, come on. on, come on. Okay, ejaculate on already. Jesus Christ. So uh, we gonna lock him up, what? y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just up. saying, Lil Nas normalizes being yourself. That's it. Yeah. He normalizes having fun. He normalizes just being who you actually are. And I want more people to reciprocate that. Except if you like to shoot up schools and not wear masks. I think I'll those are the that. two two most important, if not the most important, like attributes of do not be yourself. Be somebody else, yeah. please. It, it boils down to don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, and um I guess now at this point, don't try and gatekeep other people's personalities from themselves you know right yeah that's how yeah. you have a lot of suppressed feelings and a lot of people that feel honestly this goes back to the other thing this has a lot of people feeling like oh shit well society tells me i should keep these thoughts and these feelings and all this stuff inside mm -hmm. and i'm scared to express that but you got little yeah. nas out here you know doing his thing you know what i'm riding saying he just riding from heaven, riding from heaven to hell jesus said you gotta go you got you gotta go on my way i'm <laughs> um, going say less Say less, JC. I'm on the way down. So you know when you have when you have somebody like that that's being so overtly themselves, rather he was gay or straight. Honestly, I don't think it matters. I think if if this was a straight song, it still would you know do volume. It still would hit numbers. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's still somebody being themselves and making that okay and making that place okay. Lil Nas is really throwing himself on a cross so that way you know he's walking so that way other people yeah. can run. It it falls down to. Like in the movies, like I always say, it all falls down to representation. This guy is somebody that a lot of people can relate to right now because, you know, they might be in a similar situation trying to find themselves. And it's nice to see somebody not only represent you, but be successful in what they're doing. Yes, sir. I need more gay rappers, bro. Exactly. I need I need more diversity in my rap. I need yeah. I'm tired of I mean, rap is cool. Hip hop is cool the way it is right now, but or whatever, but I mean, we can only say fuck a pussy so many ways. Exactly. And then next thing you know, the next song in the track is Old Town Road. Bro, uh -huh. what? Old Town Road will always be a universal banger. Okay? Yeah. Just because it's different. It's different than, you know, the I get money, I get chains, I get bitches, I fuck your bitch type of... Like, that's, that's, that's the genre that we're in for the past, what, four or five years. I'm tired of okay. listening to Tyga on repeat. I'm tired of listening God. to Tory Lanez because he shoots at women. Like, bruh, come on. If uh, in comparison, there's no way that I'm gonna listen to more Tory Lanes who shoots at black women and degrades black women, but I can't listen to Lil Nas because he decided to grind his his nuts exactly. into Satan's face, bro. Come on, get out of here. Bro, just to pl and get just to play devil's advocate, if we're gonna condone, you know, artists who have done things bad, like that's a lot of people we can't listen to anymore. How many country songs are about beating your wife? Yo, I kiss my sweetie with my fist. Hello. 
Oh my god. <laughs> you fly can't, me to the moon? You can't you can't find my sister because I missed her? What? Like oh are you my god. <laughs> Come on, bro. These are these are songs. And not that only are yeah, it's not only lyrics, but the actions that those artists have taken too yeah. outside of music. That that back up their lyrics. Yes. Just just saying. Uh, can't can't cancel a man who's uncancelable. How people pick and choose whenever it's convenient for them. Like Alicia said, said, I got shot. <laughs> then proceeded to get shot. <laughs> so I got shot. I like I'm shot. Uh, yeah, I got shot, motherfucker. So I I think you know the point. The point of it all is, hey man, you just gonna do what you gonna do, I guess. So yeah, be you. And that's that's all you really can. So that's all you really can do. But anyway, yeah. um, uh, we got anything else to go over, man? I've I've kind of exerted all my energy. <laughs> that's it. I had a lot oh, to we say. We talked about the shoe thing. We talked about the questions. I don't even think the shoe is bad. I need I need a pair. I need them, bro. I need those. I'm fucking... trying to keep those motherfuckers in a box. I need them shits. So, I need the BLs above six sixties. Um, other than that, oh, we do have one more thing. Uh, it's on. It's came from Twitter. That's why I wasn't paying attention. Oh, like, it. yeah, it's. I'm gonna stop doing this. I'm gonna stop asking. I, I need y'all to start. Follow asking. The Instagram. Yeah, ne- next week I need. All, I need everybody. Uh, follow everybody else on Instagram. Stop following me on Instagram because I'm not asking questions next week. Everybody else got to get their own questions. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, one person on Twitter said, uh, is there a show or a game recently you don't understand the hype for? Yeah. Uh, one Piece. Mm. Uh, I don't understand the hype for One Piece. Uh, I really don't either. There's a Ouch. lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, um, Smash Bros. I don't, I don't really care for Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, hey, man. Okay. That's cool. Uh, Smash Bros. Anything Nintendo makes. The Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Uh, Honestly. None of that stuff makes any fucking sense to me. I will feel differently. I will say I I can flip flop on this opinion because when they come out with a Mega Man Battle Network collection Ooh. for for Switch, I will buy a Switch and I will be singing a different tune. But Nintendo doesn't like money, so you know there's that. Uh, um, the yeah. Zack Snyder cut of Justice League didn't really understand that. Uh oh. Hey guys, it's been oh. it's been fun being on the podcast. I won't be here next week apparently. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh-oh. I promise you, we kicked the gym. I mean, I, I actually we got you around off. to watching that, and it, it was good. I, I actually liked it. Oh really, DJ? What'd you? Yeah, oh. yes, yes. Tell, tell us more, since nobody else wants to volunteer to have a conversation well, today except I for actually, DJ. Yeah, one hundred percent. I did exactly what you said. Whenever mm-hmm. Lois Lane was on the screen, right? I was like, mm-hmm. you know what I did? I was watching it, right? And then she appeared on the screen. I'm like, you know what? Maybe they was tripping. Maybe, maybe, I mean, I'm gonna watch this and see if she does anything pivotal for the story. Boy, when her scene was over, I said, Yeah, I'm skipping the rest of this. And yeah, whenever she is on screen, whenever she's on screen, I'm pressing that fast forward button, yes, sir. But other than that, the movie was good, it it, it was good. I like the, the scene where he was walking through, he was seeing all the little suits or whatever, he was seeing all the different suits, and he put the black one on. I said, Oh, Jesus, it's about to get real. You felt it, huh? Yeah, I felt that one. Yeah. But the movie overall was good. It's long. Ooh, Jesus. That's when that's when Plank but, woke up. He said, "Oh, the movie that's started." When, that's when he woke up. That's <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. when he woke up. <laughs> Superman on screen. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, that was Plank. The whole movie like set up movies, for that part. <laughs> I like movies like that that give you the backstory, mm-hmm. like that gives you okay, this is why this is like this, and the flashback is not complete garbage either. Like it's like they was really going off. In the, in the uh, before the days where like you know Batman was a thing and what what are they called the uh, what are Wonder Woman's people called uh, the, the, the Amazons Amazonians mm-hmm. yeah yeah so like back when they were fighting with the uh, you know who they was fighting with all the different factions of people and stuff mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when they was fighting the uh, dark side Deacon what I see what you got on in the background no you That's don't crazy. shut up that is wild. <laughs> That I hope you crazy. cut it on repeat. You know, uh, I don't. Crazy. I don't want this to get caught. Hold on, let me let me lower the opacity real quick. I was gonna say, yeah, it was, bro, it you was a good movie though. Just turn that sleep down. Was a good movie. I'm, yo, I feel personally, I'm glad that you liked it. Um, I only I didn't say think that I would honestly. I didn't think you would, except for cyborgs parts. That's it. Oh, he was he was good, and he was 
when you said that he was a he had a, like a pivotal part and he has an attachment mm -hmm. to like everything that's going on mm -hmm. the way they flushed that story out man now did you go back and watch parts of the original or like no, reference no, i don't think i am you I don't think I'm a i i will say <laughs> definitely go do that go do that Ooh. and you you will you will Come back here and you'd be like, Jay, why did you make me do this? Number one. And number See, two, you're going to be like, they do. they did Cyborg real dirty. Like, raw dogging the devil's dick dirty. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's fucked up. It's absolutely fucked up. So. I like when everybody had, he like, he had the biggest stake out of everybody. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Uh, in the Justice League for, like, stuff that was going on, so. Seeing his backstory and seeing how that ties in and the present day stuff that happened with him too. And you, you actually see him progress as a character throughout mm -hmm. the movie. Like at the beginning, he's like angry at the world. He's angry at his father. But at the end, it's like maybe maybe this is bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So just seeing that progression, like I, it was it was it was dope to see. Oh, I probably shouldn't show this part. Yeah, no, nah, definitely, definitely uh, turn the opacity down a little bit more on that one. No, um, we just took it off. Yeah, man, uh, I, I'm I'm glad you like it. That that made me that made me feel great because when Plank said he didn't he didn't really vibe with it, I was like, what about the, you know, I can only show Plank the last hour, basically, and not even that, just the last fight. That's it. I think it gets. It, it. was a very long setup, but I think the setup mm -hmm. was needed for what happened. Yeah, I was I thinking there was going to be a, a few more fights um, yeah. that we had missed out, but we kind of didn't. I mean, the, the Steppenwolf fight got extended a little bit. The, uh, the uh, why, why was I about to say sell and freeze the fight? Jesus Christ. Hell um, yeah, I love the, that fight. Uh, yeah, but man, such great animation. I thought they was going to throw hands with, with, uh, with Homeboy at the end, but Ooh. then he closed the door. I was like, well. Oh, with Darkseid? Yeah, yeah, I thought they were going to do that too, man. I thought, I thought it was about to pop off. See, that's I, like. I sat up and everything. I'm like, it said, ooh, man, there's, there's still. An hour. And then you looked at the time and you were like, there's still yeah, another yeah, hour of this like, movie left. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, it turns out it's all credits. <laughs> So, so disappointed. Credits and, and that shitty ass like, epilogue. That doesn't make the movie bad for me. It was still a good movie. I, I need, um, that's why people were, uh, Restore the Snyderverse has been trending. Uh, but I don't think it's been trending long enough or hard enough. You know, I think people really need to, like, if they really want to do something, they need to speak with their wallets. And, um, mm -hmm. because yeah. who was it? Uh, she's like, uh, the head person at WB or something like that. Uh, she was saying that they have no no desire to continue Zack Snyder's storyline at all. And then he was like, well, I didn't want to direct any any superhero movies for a while anyway. So I think, you know, WB is, is fucking the PlayStation of fucking movie whatever the fuck. I'm clearly out of I'm clearly. I out think of that today. needs to be the, the, the canon version. Yeah, I think so too. I, I don't recognize Joss Sweden, Joss Sweden as a... Uh, as a human being anymore, honestly, after after the the Ray Fisher comments and all yeah. the other stuff, yeah, nah, man, he's just throw him in the ditch too. So it is what it is. But uh, Plank, you got anything to add? Yeah, I'm ugly, and I'd be living and shit. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the bravery I'm on this. Sorry, man. every time I hear anything about the Snyder Cut, I just you know my brain. It just turns off. I just, I don't know. It just wasn't vibing with the movie as I thought I was going to vibe with it, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. I can at least, uh, you know, recognize that, hey, man, this version of Justice League is not bad. That's that's what I that's what I like. That's what I For come from it. That's why I feel personally uh, attached to it. And that's why I watch it over and over and over again. So, you know, there's that. But uh, with that being said, that's going to be it for this week's episode. Uh, how do you guys feel? You guys good? or I'm good. We yeah. always good, baby. We hey, good. Man. Well, I like to hear that. I like to hear that. Anyway, yeah. we want to thank you we guys for listening. Big, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for listening to this week's episode. If you guys want, make sure to go and uh, scroll down. They got an hour version. An hour version of what? <laughs> Call me by your name. 
All right, put that in. Uh, put that in the VC chat. We gonna watch that later. Um, <laughs> uh, if you if you guys enjoyed this week's podcast, uh, make sure to scroll down to the description. Make sure to follow everybody on all of their respective socials. I'll make sure to include links for all of those. Um, also, if you guys have enjoyed the podcast and you are on the audio version, if you're on Apple, make sure to give this podcast five stars so that way you know Apple shows us some love. Uh, if you're on the Spotify version, go ahead and click follow so that way you can be notified every time we upload. And then also if you're uh just interested make sure to uh come back next week because we'll be streaming at the same time monday uh at what 7 p.m pacific 10 p.m eastern eastern Eastern. thank you thank you thank you boys you guys know i'm bad in math so uh with that being said uh we gonna get out of here make sure you guys keep it canon